Murray from Scooter Central. And this morning we're going to have a little bit of fun. What we're going to do is we're going to do a timed run from Monavale here on the northern beaches of Sydney right through to the city on the three most popular forms of transport to get yourself to work. Now obviously for me, I'm going to get to ride the scooter because I'm the boss. Poor old Grant, he's going to ride the bus, but we're going to give the bus every chance because the bus is going to be a limited stops bus or express bus. And then Sue, she draw the shortest straw, she's going to end up riding the ute, which is probably slightly less fun, but anyway, you get that. We're going to meet at the other end and we're going to discuss all the pros and cons of the three types of transport. So let's get to it and go and have a ride. Now here's my prediction for the day, you ready? I'm sort of thinking, bus will do well. If limited stops bus, you know, express bus, it's got every chance of doing well. But I think the scoot should be about 20, 25% faster, I reckon. That's, that's my prediction. And I don't have to wait at bus stops at the start and end, which is terrific as well. I'm heading for the ute now. The boys are getting ready to get on the bus and the scooters. The time is 7.36. The boys are about to get on the bus. Alright, we're getting on the bus now. and I'm just heading for DY. I'm still not really getting over 40 or 50 kilometers an hour. Okay, so we're 50 minutes into the journey and we're now at DY bus station. Here comes Murray. Woo! Away from the camera. And there he goes, off through the traffic, straight up the inside lane there. And if you can read that, Sydney, 8 a.m. Right, so the time is now 10 past 8. I'm just about to come past the Spit Bridge. See him there, keeping an eye on us. He's timing us as we all go past. I've got 10 past eight on my watch now. Let's see. Get a central yet well behind the traffic, and here we go. She's going to hit the um, hit the gridlock up the hill here, and all the way through. Less than half a kilometer in the last five minutes. I'm not even getting out of first gear, just crawling along. Just finally got to the top of the spit hill. <laughs> How did I end up in the ute? Mossman and heading towards Neutral Bay now. Oh, well, that was a bit of fun. A 
good news for me is I found myself a park within walking distance of where we're going to finish. Just going to check the clock, see how long it took. Alright, let's have a quick look, see how we went. Press the right button. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Let me a quick look, about 51, 52 minutes for us. That's not too bad at all. All in all, left the, uh, oh, I left the car miles ago. I don't know where Sue is, poor thing. Uh, Grant in the bus, he's long gone as well. This is on the Harbour Bridge now. Approach to the bridge here. This is where the scooters and buses really just go right past all the cars. I mean, not only through Mossman and Neutral Bay when the traffic's terrible, but here when they can all just go down the bus lane and rock it past all the traffic into the city. You know, it's it just leaves a car for dead. So. Still on the bridge. Okay, I've got 8:38 on my phone. Um, so it's taken me just over an hour to get across the Harbour Bridge. You know, well, my destination is in sight. The time's ticking by though. I feel like I'm back in Mossman. Unfortunately now it's, uh, yeah, you can see on the clock tower, it's just a little bit past quarter to nine. So by the time I get parked, get to the coffee shop, I'll have made it just in time. I'm finally getting off. Can I give it to you? Thanks. I'll be here five minutes. Thank you. I've just been allowed to park in the loading zone for five minutes. Because uh, I realized when I got here that I wasn't going to fit under the in the parking garage because I've got a motorcycle on the back of the car. So I'm just going to run to the coffee shop, meet the guys quickly, then I'm going to come back, grab the youth, and head off. I hope they waited for me. No. <laughs> I'm the last one. We are. I'm the last one. Did you just get... And from the whole experience, I've got to tell you, I'm sure I had the most fun. So let's have a bit of a chat about it and see what we can make of it. Okay, so we've done the, the ride, the drive, and the bus journey, and it was a wonderful experience, wasn't it? We had a great time. For some. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great time anyway. Look, the funny thing that came out of this whole thing was the car actually beat the bus by a minute, which has uh, caught us all by surprise, really, it did. didn't it? So, it did. look, let's do our summary really quickly. We'll go for the slowest one first, which was Grant and the bus. Congratulations. Me, thank you. Uh, yeah, I had to jump on there, you know, couldn't even get a seat, and uh, ride, or drive straight into the city, so just Packed my bum after 10 minutes of standing, and I couldn't believe I was the last one to arrive in the city. Shocked me. Yeah, yeah, look, I was really surprised too. Mm. And, and how was your experience, sir? Yeah, look, I had really good traffic conditions, so I got in there fairly quickly. The bus was well ahead of me um, for a while, and then I passed the bus over the Harbour Bridge, crawled through the traffic, pulled into the parking garage. $63 to park for the day in the city. That one really slugged me. Yeah, so $63. That took a lot of the brutal. fun out of it. Plus, also, it was an hour and 15 minutes in perfect conditions. Um, if I had to get in for an appointment in the city at 9 o'clock, I would leave half an hour earlier. I would leave closer to two hours to get in there, which really isn't a great way to start your day. Yeah, and look, for the scoot, we always knew the scoot was going to win. 51 minutes for the scoot, 52 minutes against a dollar. Uh, no, dollar against a minute 15 for the car and the and the bus, so that was a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, I found free parking as soon as I got into the city, which was terrific, so parking was free. It cost me a dollar and 16 cents in fuel, uh, so fuel wasn't a big deal. I got there with a huge grin on my face, and I'd finished my coffee before these guys even arrived. So basically, that's our summary. Yep. Yeah. Great experience for all. Hope we all learnt something. <laughs>